Well, I'm gonna give you a few problems to work on this latest video, uh, video 13 from Crash Course, and this one, uh, this particular problem actually has two songs built into it, so you wanna see if you can figure that out, and I also want you to consider a board that is lifted up by Diane. So it's going to pivot there, right, that point that contacts the floor, and uh, I think if it's just barely being lifted up, then its angular acceleration, alpha, should be considered to be zero. So that might be um, a helpful hint to get you started on this problem. If it's just barely being lifted, then alpha is so close to zero that we can call it zero for calculation purposes. Okay, pause, do that problem please. And then the next problem is one of my favorite problems. It's about cheese and it's about torque and Shinny spent some time talking about the force being at a right angle to the distance. But, but what I think is more important is the distance being at a right angle to the force. So I'm gonna talk about something called R perp in my solution to this problem. It's a pretty hard problem if you don't do it that way. I mean, it just has more trig and such in it. So um, there's an easy way to do this problem and you may peek if you are interested in seeing how to do it. But in the meantime, pause and try to do it yourself. Ultimately, that's what this is all about. This problem is about your mom, and she's going swimming, but uh, right now she's preparing to jump, so she's just in equilibrium at the end of a massless diving board. By the way, these massless diving boards are extremely expensive. You can look them up in the catalogs. Pause, do the problem. I don't even know if they're worth it. This one is about foam that has been brought down to the wreck of the Titanic, which is actually fantastically deep under the sea. And these, uh, these units here are called pascals, and they're a measurement of pressure. So there's a pressure in the equation, and we haven't worked with pressure yet, but I figured you could just plug in those values for pressure and see what happens. Um, it's, it's a delta V, right, and a delta P, so it's not gonna work. Um, awfully, I think you'll be fine. And and there's something about this foam not re-expanding. What does that mean about the foam? It's in what zone? There's another little question I wanted to ask you. Oh, pause, do the problem. The fifth question asks you to do some algebra. Can you connect the spring constant of a coil spring that is like this in terms of shear modulus and explain what it means? So here's a coil spring for you. And I want you to make a connection between the spring constant of the spring, which is just K, and the shear modulus of the steel that's used to make up this spring. So there's probably going to be some cross-sectional area of the wire that's present right here, and we'll have to do a little bit of algebra to think about that. Or maybe even conceptual thought. Maybe.